Ah, oh, guys, just put me out of my misery. I don't know. I don't know how to accomplish this step. I need some help. If you guys know how to help me with this, please help me. And uh, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Anyhow, let's get to the intro. Hello, internet people. David here. And this is day 11 of my game development journey. Did something just ping behind me? I think something just pinged behind me. I'm trying to do animations today. I am trying to finally animate my sprite in Godot. I am running into... I don't know what the hell I'm running into. I don't know how to set this up. I don't know if I need to plan out my sprite sheets better in a sprite. But anyhow, let me just show you what I'm dealing with. Let me let me just show you because I can ramble here and not actually show anything on screen. Anyhow, moving on. Let's go. Okay, we got... Where's my screen at? There it is. Okay. Here's my little cute walk animation for my peanut character. Here's a little look animation. Here's an idle animation. I don't know if I'm going to use this. I think I'm just going to use my walk animation because I don't like how on this frame it drops down and removes this. If I'm making different armor sets, that means I'd have to also draw the same thing out for my 2D character here. Got a little thumbs up. But on the Godot side, I've split things out between the main body, as you can see here. It's moving, is it moving? Yeah, okay, it's moving up and down. Between the eyes and the hands because I want the body to be here, I want my weapon to be behind my hand, and then I want the hand there, and kind of doing gestures that way, and I don't know if this is a good way of doing it, or if I should just draw my weapon sprites without the full handle, and then just swap out the arm with the weapon all together so it's all one unit. I actually don't know how to design this in a way that makes sense. And isn't a lot of work for me. If any, if somebody knows how to actually design an RPG with 2D characters in Godot, um, animated, um, do you keep it modular and separated, or do you do what I'm kind of doing right here? Um, but here's kind of the problem I'm run into. I got my different sprite sheets. Um, in this case, so I don't know if you guys can see that. It might be too small. This might be too small on the screen, but I got like my peanut, my eyes, and my hands separated per individual animation. So this would be like the walk animation. And what I was trying to do is do an animated sprite 3D, as you can see in the left here, and have my individual frames right here. So here's the hand, here's the eyes, here's the body. And then what I wanted to do is attach it to an animation player and start keying in the frames and then have them overlaid on top of each other. Um, and I don't know if this is the proper way of doing it. It seems a bit clunky, um, but I'll just show you what I was doing. So I click on my animation sprite 3D. I have my walk body animation here. If I click on animation down here, I should now be able to key my frames. So I hit key, boom. I have an animation key right here. Frame zero, boom, peanut. Move this to the next frame. Boom. Frame. The only problem with this is I think by having the animation player attached this way and having three separate distinct animations, I think as soon as I key this in, the animation here changes. And I think this name has to correspond up here. So I think I need, um, you kind of get what I'm saying? Throat's getting really phlegmy. I just came back from a CT scan. My appendix feels like it's about to blow up, so I don't know. I think I'm allergic to whatever dye they just threw in my body. Anyhow, yeah, that's beside the point. Let's talk about something else. Um, I think because this name right here says animation and this keyframe is animation, there's really no dis way of distinguishing between the three. So as soon as I do hands, now I have a hand pop up. Do I have to do three separate animation sprite 3Ds? and then throw it into my animation player? Do I just make one sprite sheet and use the animation player 
call in, I can't remember what you call it, the H frames and V frames with frame coordinates? Do I split it out that way? To me, logically, it seems a lot easier to organize things in the animated Sprite 3D using Sprite frames and then having your individual animations. Um, that seems a lot easier for me, especially if I want to make a change later on on the A Sprite side where I'm dropping out a Sprite sheet. Here's a better lookup of the Sprite sheet. I can do it per animation instead of having this big massive, sorry, I'm trying to figure out where my hands are, this big massive sprite sheet with all my different animations. It's kind of confusing. I have to keep track of that, um, where to me it's nicer to just break it out per animation, kind of like my walk, look, idle, thumb. I don't know. Let me know how you do your animations. I'm very curious. I could really use your help, um, and I could use a lot of people's help going forward. Um, cause I think I kind of know what I want to accomplish. I got the vision for it. I just don't know what is necessarily the best way of doing it. And I could use some mentorship from anyone in the comments. So leave a comment down below. I'm David. Um, this was my day 11 update. Um, yeah, I think I said, um, a lot. I'm going to try and cut some of these ums out just so you guys don't have to listen to me think too long. But yeah, love and peace, peace and love. I'm David. I'll see you in another video. Peace out. Yeah, was that a good video? I think that's a good video. <laughs> Why are you still watching this video? Go watch another video. What are you doing? Help me. Somebody help me, please. <laughs> oh, I've been racking my brain on this problem for like, I don't know, a good week. I've been dreading this part because I keep coming back to it. And I just keep getting stuck between the animation sprite 3D, the animation player, and then the animation, where, what else was it? The animation tree? Yeah, I got this animation tree. I guess I'd never talked about this in this video at all. I think this I understand. The state machine stuff I understand. It's just what to do with these guys. And yeah, this video was supposed to end like a minute ago. Why are you still watching? What are you doing? <laughs> Please consider subscribing and liking this video. Peace out.